Hello and welcome back. I'm Joseph Hoffman. Today we are going to learn how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb. And first I'd like to share with you a version of this song that I came up with. Alright, let's figure out how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb. First, can you sing it with me? And I'd like you to move your hands up and down along with the direction of the melody. Here's the first note right here. Ready? Go. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Good. Now let's figure out what those notes are doing in solfege. I'll sing a few notes for you and then I'd like you to try to sing those same notes back with solfege words. For example, I'll help you with the first one. Here are the first three notes of the song. Ba, ba, ba. My clue to you is the first note of this song is a me. So if you hear ba, 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 what would that be in solfege? If you said mi, re, do, you're correct. Remember the hand signs for that would be mi, re, do. Now let's try to draw those notes on the staff. Here I have a treble clef staff. This song is in the E major pentascale and E on the treble staff is right here. So this will be our Do. But you'll recall that I told you the first note is not a Do, it's a Mi. So how do we find Mi? We need to step up to Re and then step up to Mi. Or we could have just skipped straight from Do up to Mi. Mi is on a G, which actually in the E major pentascale is a G sharp but we'll still draw it as a G. Now, we said that the first phrase was Mi, Re, Do, Re, Mi, Mi, Mi. Here's the first phrase of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Can you sing the solfege with me and point on your screen? Ready, go. Mi, re, do, re, mi, mi, mi. Now, what do you think comes next? Listen. Ba, ba, ba. Is it higher than mi or lower? Listen one more time. Ba, 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 ba. The next three notes are re. Re, re, re. Now listen to the next pattern. Ba, ba, ba. What do you hear? Can you sing those notes in solfege? Ba, ba, ba. If you said me so, so, you're correct. And we draw it like this. Now let's try to sing the whole thing so far in solfege. I'll do it once by myself, then you'll get a turn by yourself. My turn. Mi, re, do, re, mi, 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 re, 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 mi, so, so. Okay, now your turn. Point with me and sing by yourself. Ready, go. Good job. If you download this music from the website, you'll notice that there are some notes missing. We're going to have to fill those in together. Now, you'll recall that we just dictated these notes and we had mi, re, do. So we're gonna draw do right here on the E line. Do you remember what comes next? After we step down to do, then it steps back up. Mi, re, do, re. And since Do is on the line, Re will be in this space, then it steps back up to Mi and repeats. Mi, 
me, me. And then we have me, re, do, re, me, 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 re, re, re. Do you remember what comes next? Me, so, so. Now we're done with that line. Now let's go back to the staff and figure out the notes of the next line. It starts out the same way. Mary had a little lamb whose, but there's one more repeated note this time on me. And then it ends with ba ba, two rays. And then the last three notes are ba ba ba. What would that be in solfege? If you said mi, re, do, you're correct. And that makes the end of Mary Had a Little Lamb. So here's the whole thing in solfege. My turn. Mi, re, do, re, mi, 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 re, re, mi, re, do. Now your turn. Go. Good job. Now we're ready to fill in the rest of the note heads on this phrase. Do you remember how it goes here? We had <laughs> That's right. We're going to need four repeats on me. So we just drew mi re do re mi 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 and then we already have re, re, mi, re, do, rest. Now you'll notice we've just drawn the note heads, but we haven't added stems or beams because we don't know the rhythm yet to these notes. So let's come to the heartbeat mat and we'll figure out the rhythm for Mary Had a Little Lamb. Okay, touch the beats with me and sing the words, please. Mary had a little lamb. Now we have a new rhythm in this heartbeat here. You notice there were two sounds, Mary, but there was one that was longer than the other. When we say Mary, you'll notice we hold me longer than re, Mary. For that, we'll need this rhythm here. It's called a dotted eighth with a sixteenth note. And it makes a sound like this, team key, team key. This dot makes this eighth note a little bit longer, and this extra beam, just like in Tiki Tiki, makes this one go twice as fast. So we have ba ba. Now, can you figure out what rhythms go inside these beats? Listen one more time. Ba 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 ba. What did you hear? Here's the correct answer for that row. Let's try to say it, say it together in rhythm words. I'll do it once first. Team ki ti 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 ta. Now, touch the beats with me and say it. Go. Team ki ti 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 ta. Now we're ready for the next row. See if you can figure out what the rhythms are on this row. Ba 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 ba. Ba. What did you hear? Here's the correct answer. It was ti ti ta, ti ti ta. Good. Remember, our new rhythm is called a dotted eighth sixteenth note, and it says team key. Let's draw the rhythms on the music. We already have a team key drawn in here. Do you remember what comes next? We had team key. Then we need a TT. I'm going to add stems and a beam. Remember that the stem attaches on the right side of the note if the stem is going up. So we have team key T T. Then what? T T ta, T T ta. Then what? T 
ti ti ta tim ki ti 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 Now we have the notes to the whole song written in and we're ready to try playing it. Let's cover up the E major pentascale. Now, can you name all of the notes of the E major pentascale with me as we play them? We're going to start with E. Let's sing the letter names. Ready? Go. E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B. Good. Now let's come back down. B, A, G sharp, F sharp, E. Excellent. Now, remember that uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb starts on a me. So, we'll start with finger three. I'll play a pattern and then you play it back. My turn first. Mi, re, do, re, mi, mi, mi. Now your turn. My turn. Re, re, re. Your turn. Good. My turn. Mi, so, so. Your turn. Good, my turn again. Mi, re, do, re, mi, 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 mi. Your turn. Good, my turn. Re, re, mi, re, do. Your turn. Good, now I'd like you to press pause and practice by yourself Try playing the whole song now with words. When you're ready to try it with me, press play again to go on. Okay, let's try to play Mary Had a Little M all together with words now. We'll start with finger three. Ready, go. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. If that didn't go as well as you wanted, then just press pause and keep practicing until you can keep up with me the whole time. Then when you're ready, you can try it with me jazz style. This time we're going to play Mary Had a Little Lamb and you're going to play the same notes that you just did, but I'm going to add the jazzy accompaniment that I showed you at the start of this lesson. So let's try it. Put your right hand in the E major pentascale and I'm going to count one, two, three, four, and then we start. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Great job. Keep practicing that until you feel really confident and happy with your performance. Then you can also try it in the left hand and then in our next lesson we'll learn how to add chords in the left hand. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Giant lamb. Nah.